get up The lights come on So take a good look As soon I'll be gone Yeah, take a picture, baby If you won't last long All time, good high Don't ask me why Yeah, when I get up The lights come on So take a good look Oh, as soon I'll be gone Yeah, take a picture, baby If you won't last long Off. Looking super clear today. Dang, there's got to be some bass under these pads right here. What's up guys, starting this one off a little bit different. You guys saw Devin just missed her first ever fish on the Guggen Squad, Gold Roz. <laughs> she had a bite on the fluke. We just got here, man. She wasn't even expecting it, but look at this thing. Absolute beauty. I believe they're sold out, but check the link at the top of the description to get you some of these Guggen Squad rods if you're in the market for some new sticks. But I got something exciting for you guys today. We're actually gonna be throwing not necessarily even just one of the biggest swim baits we've ever thrown, but by far the most expensive we've ever purchased. This thing is like $150. We got this as soon as it went on sale. They are like limited runs. The guy only makes a handful of each color. This is the Phony Frogs, I believe Phony Shad. Check this thing out. This is in the purple color. Oh my gosh. Comes with these treble hook protectors. Keep those hooks from getting stuck in everything. And let me tell you what. This thing right here could absolutely catch us a giant. We're at a lake that Devin has caught a six plus pounder before in the past. I'm thinking this might just be able to get a bass of that caliber's attention today. And uh, we might be able to link up with something on this guy right here. So we're gonna tie him on for the very first time, show you guys the action, see if we can't get some followers. It's very windy today, but we're kind of tucked in a pocket where it's not so crazy. And it's just a couple feet down into the grass, man. So this place is loaded with hydrilla. Bass love to hang out and ambush from within that. So what I'm gonna do is toss it out and see if we can at least get a few followers back in here. Then we're gonna take it out deep for some more fishing, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Also, before we kick things off, Devin is gonna throw around this guy right here. I'm probably gonna join her because I bet she's gonna get on some serious fish. This is one of our favorite six inch soft plastic, big old swim baits. It is the Working Class Zero Citizen. We just rigged up with the first one today. Check out this color right here. Oh my gosh. This is called the Militia. Absolutely shines in the light. Yeah guys, so Devin's gonna tie this thing on and we're gonna be throwing some big baits today. I might even break out the A-Rig. I've really never thrown it. I've, I've given it only a few minutes time, but we've got one on the boat. So uh, look forward to something new today. New baits across the board and also new rods we're throwing them on, man. We got a couple of those Gookin Squad rods that we're gonna be tossing out, something like the Flukes and Sankos. We got a green series spinning and then that gold series twitch casting. So let's go ahead and like I say, get to fishing. Break out the big guns. First things first, let's untie the Battle Shad. Now, not only is this thing insanely expensive, but it also doesn't float. So I'm going with the heavy, the heavy line. This is 20 pound Seaguar Brazex. We're going to see, we're going to rig this up with our favorite Palomar knot and hope to stick an absolute giant on this thing. I have no doubt like a two or three pounder would also hit this, but we're looking for the bigs today on this thing. Ooh, just had a follower. Little little fish. <laughs> it was just sitting still and I felt the tug. <laughs> so I was listening to Weston, he just had his first follower on the phony shad. Sitting there, it was on the pause, looked back and felt him hit. Started to feed up for the fall. You say bye to him, do not go in at the water after him. Bloop. Scooting on down to the second location. We are gonna drift on down this bank for a second. Still throwing the phony shad. Is that a tree or is that lots of fish out here? It's just, I'm just going through them. Something's chasing me. Oh God, I'm <laughs> Dang, he was chasing it. First bite in a while, just spot him on live scope. He's got it. 
What is going on? What is going on? That was a fish 100%. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Finally got one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, jeez. I'll smash the freaking windshield. <laughs> Zeke, look. I finally got one. A couple hours in. Slow rolling the saucy swimmer on the bottom in the grass, man. Gee whiz. That one was just an overhand cast because I saw this hump right out here on live scope. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that, but it dips down and it's, uh, well, it's showing that it's looking to the right. But regardless, the hump and some grass is this direction as well. I cast it that way, reeling it back in slow. Zeke, what have we got? We got a big old bass, don't we? We got a big old bass, our goose goose. And uh, that got this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water and try for some more, aren't we, Zeke? We're gonna try to get some more fishies. Yes, we sirs. Let's put him back. Okay, say goodbye. He's gonna go bye-bye. Ready? Bye-bye. Where'd he go? He's gone. There we go, yes! Oh no, it came off. Gone. That was the first best hit. It went doom, and I reeled, and I felt it, and I mean, I swung on it, and he was there. Lay down. All right, close your eyes. There we go. Yes, 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 he's got it good. Oh, yeah. First one on the militia. Stay down. I don't know. We haven't seen it yet. Oh, he's a little guy up. He's fair. He's fair. Oh, he's pretty good. I don't know. Sure. Screw it. We got to get him in here. All right, guys. Check it out. First one on that Citizen 6 in the militia color. We have not caught one on that color yet. Super freaking exciting. I've probably missed like four or five taps, no, hits, bites, and that one, I think this was the same fish. I cast it right in the same spot that I missed a bite just a couple casts before that. Solid fish, super exciting. It's been a while since I've caught a fish on the Citizen. We're getting into that fall weather, so they're starting to feed up for winter. We're gonna get him back in the water, try and get on some more fish before the sun sets. Oh, I have a fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was so little, he was like, not like he was swimming with it. Changing things up, went ahead. We're next to all these uh, reeds. It's not as grassy over here as it is over there. First cast with the worm and bada bing, bada boom. Caught that guy on a Nico rigged. Basically, it's essentially a wacky rig, but I do have a Nico weight pushed into the front of that worm, so then therefore it sinks a little bit faster, but it's still light enough to where it doesn't bury itself into the grass. That's gonna wrap things up on our first outing with the phony shad man this thing is absolutely sick definitely gonna get thrown a lot in these next few videos coming up so be sure to subscribe if you want to see the first ever catch on this thing I know it's gonna happen during this fall feeding frenzy so 
with this transition into winter time, they're gonna be feeding up and I got a feeling we're gonna catch a gigantor on this thing, possibly a new PB. So hit the subscribe button if you're new, stay tuned in case you wanted to know about the gear Devin and I were throwing for not only this bad boy right here, but also the citizens, those working class zero soft plastics to really get in the grass and work through it at that place. We're throwing Shimano Tranks 200s. Uh, mine is a 201 left-hander. I like getting those right-handed hook sets. Devin's is the 200 right-hander. Same thing for her. She feels more comfort in the right-handers. I have a video on that actually left versus right-handed bait caster. It's actually one of my most popular fishing videos. But aside from just the reel that is truly made for handling big swim baits and heavy artillery, we've also got the St. Croix Mojo Bass. Seven foot 10, heavy power fast action rod. This thing is made for like, uh, I, I thought it was, oh, it's only one to four ounce baits. No wonder this thing is teetering and tottering that rod tip. This thing is like maxing this rod out. I'd say this thing's probably, I wonder how much this weighs. Nice. Don't we have a, I don't know if this thing has battery or if it's in ounces. Hey. Anyhow, I'm sure one of you guys knows how much this thing weighs, but I'm sure it's like three, I would assume it's like three ounces. Anyways, this rod is built to accommodate one to four ounce heavy swim baits and a rigs. This thing has got a extra long handle for those big casts with the second hand right here for the leverage to get these baits out there. Also for those hook sets when you've really got it tucked right there under the arm for the wha-bam! Power hook sets you need oftentimes for some of these bigger swim baits, especially the single hook stuff. With these treble hooks, I mean, there's a big chance that those fish are just gonna hook themselves and they're gonna be pinned, but you still need a beefy heavy rod to keep it pinned and to bring it home because some of these big bass that are gonna bite up the stuff like this, you really can't be throwing those medium heavy rods. You, you absolutely have got to go with a broom stick and that is what this is here. That really covers everything. Palomar not man, I, I, I'm so nervous about casting this thing off. It's a scary feeling, but this thing does not float, so uh, hopefully we catch a fish on it before we lose it. Either way, you got something to look forward to in the future videos, guys, so we'll catch y'all on the next one. Till then, peace out. <gasps>